Hello, today I'm going to be unboxing and giving you a first look at the Cooler Master V850 Gold Eye Multi Power Supply. So the power supply supports the new ATX 3.0 standard, so it's going to have your PCI 5.0 12-volt high power cable, which I'll show you later on, and it can also support peak power of up to 200% for 100 microseconds. It's a semi-digital power supply, so it comes with a USB cable which you connect up to your motherboard, and then you can adjust it using the Cooler Master Master Plus software. It's also fully modular, has an 80 plus gold efficiency rating, and uses 100% Japanese capacitors. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it unboxed and take a closer look at it. The power supply features a 135mm silent fan, and we can control the fan curve using the Cooler Master Master Plus software. By default, it's set up to not spin whenever the power supply is under low load, which is going to help reduce noise. So take a look at the ports that we have. We've got two ports here for our 24-pin cable. We've got four peripheral ports for our SATA and Molex cables. We've got five of these ports here where we can connect either our CPU EPS cables are our PCIe cables for our graphics card. Um, we've got this new 12 volt high power connector here, and we've also got a port here where we're gonna connect a cable which is gonna connect the power supply up to our motherboard via USB. Take a look at the cables that come with our power supply. So we've got our 24 pin cable, we've got two EPS cables, we've got an eight pin and a four plus four pin cable. Then we've got three PCIe cables. They all have one six plus two pin connector. We've got three SATA cables, giving us a total of 12 SATA connectors. We've got one Molex cable with four Molex connectors. And then we've got the USB cable for connecting our power supply up to our motherboard. And we've got one 12 VH PWR cable, which can supply up to 450 watts of power to your graphics card. I'll give you a closer look at this. So we can plug one end of the cable into our power supply. And we take a look at the other end of the cable, you see it's labeled with 450 watts. And then taking a closer look at the end of the cable, you'll see we've got a 16 pin cable. So 12 of these pins are for supplying power. And then we've got four smaller sense pins for data transmission. So taking a look at the cable, it is a fairly thick cable, but it comes nicely sleeved. And this one cable going to your new 4000 series graphics card is definitely gonna look much cleaner than the adapters that come with the graphics card in the box. So we open Cutter Master's Master Plus software, click on our power supply, you can see all the monitoring options that we have. So at the moment we're on input, um, and if we've got the voltage graph here selected, we can also select the amps, and it's gonna give us a graph of that as well. We can click on our power in and power out, and again we can click over here to just change the graph from power in to power out. We've got our fan, and as we've mentioned, less than 50% the fan does not spin up and then it works on this fan curve by default because we are currently on the silent mode. We do have different profiles here so we can go into the standard mode where the fan is going to run about 30% up until 70% of load and we've got gaming mode, we've got overclock mode where basically the fan runs at 100% all of the time or we can go in and create our own custom fan curve but importantly, the minimum here is 30%. So if you want to get the fan to stay off, we're going to have to leave it in the silent mode, which I'm going to do. And then we've got a graph here of our fan speed. You can see the ramp up there. Over on the output side, we can also click on here to get the graphs to come up. And again, I'll show you what options we have on each of the different reels. Uh, and we've also can monitor the power supply's temperature. So you can see there, it's been running around about 27 degrees. So there's definitely a whole lot of really nice monitoring options with the Master Plus software. So if you are thinking of building a PC with a next-gen graphics card, it's good to see that Cooler Master have got you covered with this ATX 3.0 power supply. So looking forward to getting this into a build video on the channel fairly shortly. So if you have enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.